Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Harmony 1. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions and I'll also tell you different trades that I'm making here and there. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so starting off here on coin market cap on Bitcoin's back up above 38k and Ethereum's back up above 2500. So that's always good to see. But as you know, I will be doing a Bitcoin price analysis video later on today as I am doing two uploads every day for the month of August. So we're on the grind. Now, let's have a look at one or Harmony. It is sitting at rank number 87. Uh, it's sitting at seven and a half cents right now. We're up 1.56% right now. The market cap is 770 million. The circulating supply is 10.42 billion. That is 83% of the total supply, which is 13.1 billion. If we come down here, the all time high is 22.33 cents there. And that was on March 29th, four months ago, when we're down 66.5% since then. So if you don't know what it is, we'll have a quick read here. Harmony is a blockchain platform designed to facilitate the creation and use of decentralized applications, also known as dApps. The network aims to innovate the way decentralized applications work by focusing on random state sharding, which allows creating blocks in seconds. According to the project's website, Harmony is expected to introduce cross shard contracts and cross chain infrastructure by the end of 2021. So if you understand what sharding is and you understand what they're trying to do here, you'll understand why you should be at least researching this project to see if you should be investing into it because honestly I think this thing's absolutely insane and I definitely think it is going places. If you want to come up here you can also join their telegram there or you can have a look at their website. Here you'll just obviously gain more knowledge on what they're trying to do. You can see their ecosystem, their community, the homepage shows the cross-chain interoperability. You could read more up on that, the different bridge and layer two features. Uh, if we go to ecosystem, so there's the partners there. You've got Binance, Huobi, Ledger, MetaMask. There's loads of different ones there. You can see the roadmap for what their goals are. Loads of different stuff. So just go over to the website and do your own research. Figure out if you want to invest in this, if you haven't already. Obviously, if you already have, you know, <laughs> this thing will be making mad moves. So we'll move back on over to Coin Market Cap here, and I can show you where you can actually buy yourself some. So markets and as you can see here binance is the number one volume holder then you have binance.us then you have kucoin huobi gate.io ascendex there's loads of different ones there just stick to the high conference ones and you'll be chilling now i'll move on over to trading view here i'm going to do some price analysis and i'll also give you a price prediction as well so if we look here at the daily um obviously on a bit more of a macro scale we can see that we pumped the whole way down from 0 0.004 so that's 0.4 cents all the way up to that 23.3 cents mark here on binance and yeah binance so that was a nice six thousand six hundred and seventy six percent increase and that happened well from pretty much january to march so in a couple of months like that is absolutely crazy you love to see it and this thing has a lot more to come if you take a look at the moving averages here let me remove that as you can see unfortunately we've pretty much lost them all here apart from the 360 there we've come close to it but we haven't touched it yet we are actually fighting with a 200 moving average right now we fell through it back here on the 21st of june blasted back up through it again on the 7th of july and then obviously came back to retest it 12th 13th 14th and then fell through it again on the 15th and since then we've retested it a few times since but haven't been able to actually flip that to support again it looks like we've maybe rejected off it there but we've come back down and tested our 50 moving average the yellow one is and the 20 as well and we're are we just below the eight EMA right now well we're pretty much on it so we're above all of them so we're just fighting with the 200 and the 100 right now in the daily 200 is a hard one to flip and as you can see bitcoin's not even up near its 200 moving average yet on the daily so 
that'll be a fight for it and it'll also be a fight for harmony here i do think it's coming it will be happening soon so i would be getting your bids in now and if you actually don't have yourself some i will run a fib and show you where you could place yourself some buy orders so run from that bottom to this top here and i'll drop back to the four hour and zoom in a little here we go so as you can see on the four hour here well the 200 movement average and the 360 held us nicely there and then if we take a look at the fib, well, I actually need to fix that right now. It's way off on the dilly. Okay, so as you can see, we pumped from 5.3 cents, well, 5.36, all the way up to 8.3 cents there. And since then, we came back down and tested this 236 here. It did manage to hold us there for a while, but eventually at 1 a.m. there on the 3rd of August, we fell through came down to test this 300 moving average, fell below it, the 200 held, and that also was confident with this 382 right here. So we tapped the 382, and now we're moving back on up, so we might be touching this 236 here. We could blast through it, who knows? But if not, we could roll over and come back down, and that's where I'd be placing your buy orders here. So I'd be placing on this 382 again, because we're likely gonna see it touch this again at some point. So on that, 3 and 2, oh, we'll just turn on the RSI and the MACD, we'll just keep that there, why not? Um, let me change that to 3 and 2. So, ladder in your buy orders down this fib, I would be having it on this 0 0.5 as well. Just set that to a level, and then I'd also have it here on your 618 level at around that 6.5 cents mark. So. I just saw the state of my webcam focus there and fixed it. So as I was saying, I would be laddering your buy orders down from this 382, so 7.2 cents, down to that 618 at around 6.4 cents. Now, if you're working in the BTC pair, I will show you where you can buy it with your Satoshi. So one BTC, there we go. All right, so pretty much same thing. I will remove this old data here. Um, we're already on the 4R here, so that's easy enough. We can run the fib from the bottom here to the top. And on the BTC pair, we're actually above the 236 right now, so that's looking nice. But it's going to be the same story as the USDT pair. I would be saying to ladder your buy orders down from this 382 down to this 618 level. So let me change the color of that. So I'd be laddering it down from around maybe 192 sats down to around that 185 sat area. Now moving back on up to the USDT pair, I will do a price prediction for you. So for that, I'll be using the FIB extension. So I'll delete this first and we'll move back to the daily. If we zoom out a little, I will, I'll take off the RSI and the MACD and we will run a fib from the top all the way down to the bottom here. And then if you have a look at some of these levels, like it, it's so nice. It's confident with it. Like we tapped this, came back down. Now it's held us moving back up. Fibonacci works wonders. So if we're to look up here at this 1.618, it's sitting at 37 and a half cents. And from our all time high at 23.2 cents, that is very doable. That is a mere, what, 60% increase from previous all-time highs. And never mind that, this thing is going way above that. If we are to look on up here, 2.618 is at 60 cents there. Easily doable as well, I think. I'm just gonna continue to keep going up here. 3.618 is at 83 cents, 4.618, 5.618. Honestly, this thing could be reaching up, up to this $2 mark here. I'm gonna put some marks here at some psychological levels and we will come back to them when we hit them. And I'm gonna mark this 5.6 up as well here at that $1.30. So these would be my targets, honestly, for this cycle. If you're holding Harmony One right now, which I am, I do have a bag myself. I got it back, it was on this first dip and around February time, I was actually pretty late to it. Well, obviously I wasn't late, but later than most of my other altcoins when I was buying back in like, September October time but literally if you even bought the top here from the top up to this $1.50 mark that is a 500% increase up to the $2 mark 
That's a 757% increase. So literally from all time highs, 700% increase. That's absolutely nothing. We seen that this thing moved, what? It was like 6,000% or something in like a couple of months. Like we seen this thing move way more than that before. Like if we're taking it from this bottom to this top, that's a 5,000% move. There's probably a lower bottom there. I haven't touched. Yeah, if we're even to bring it down to right there, back in the March COVID drop, that brings that to an 18,660% move to all-time highs. And you're telling me this thing can't move 700%? I know that it's going to take a lot more to move the market cap when there's more money flows into this. But if we're to move back here to coin market cap overview, let's see what the market cap was when we were at our all-time high there. It was around the 1.8 billion mark. So that would bring us to, that would actually bring us to $2.30 if we're going 10x the all-time high, and that would only be an $18 billion market cap. Let's go to coin market cap here and see what has $18 billion. Polkadot, I absolutely love Polkadot. Polkadot is way too undervalued to be there. But even look at Doge here. This thing had $90 billion in the total, like on its total market cap at its all-time highs pretty much. All right, it's gonna be a bitch for me to zoom in there, but as you can line it up there, it's like high 80s at least, pretty much $90 billion. We're asking for an $18 billion Harmony One to get it to $2.30 Harmony One. I honestly do think that it's easily doable, and I also think that it will happen this cycle. This cycle being probably ending towards probably mid-2022. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.